subscribing to my channel. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back and spending a little bit of your day with me. Today I'm going to be talking about this beauty right here. This is the Pochette Matisse by Louis Vuitton. I do have like an Avon leather. So I'm going to go through my mini review of the handbag and also show you how I store it and how I pack it whenever I use it. So I do have it in the Enfant Leather and the Marine Rouge combination. So that is a navy top with a red glazing contrast. I actually think this is a stunning combination. And I think that they should actually do more flying combinations like this with their Enfants more often. So even though it is navy and it does have the red, this color is so rich and dark that it can very much be used like a black handbag. So that's one of the things that I like about it. And if you don't have a navy bag, I think you should give it a try. Just treat it like a black and you'll be fine. I am wearing a uh, blouse with various colors on there just on purpose to show you that this works just fine. So I'm going to start off with the specs to just kind of show you around my handbag. You probably already know what this looks like and if you're looking at this video, chances are you have seen other Pochette Matisse related videos already. Um, so this handbag currently retails for $2,420 here in the United States. It does have gold tone hardware all throughout the um, handbag. It does feature an S-lock closure which is not too hard or... Um, too easy at the same time to get in and out of um, so what I mean by not being too easy is that you can't just do this and it'll open um, so it is secure from that standpoint so no one's gonna easily just get in there but um, whenever you open it and if you don't have anything here it is kind of hard to close it I'll try to demonstrate it like it walks okay you have to have something in this front um, pocket or divider in order for it to kind of be able to find the center and grasp and lock but uh, nonetheless I find that you can open this with one hand so if you do have this on crossbody and you're just trying to reach over and grab something really quick you can definitely do that and get in the bag so I do have hardware protectors on my um, hardware pieces not every single one like for example right here in the strap I don't have anything on here but I do have something in this little button right there um, it's a little clear uh, sticker um, I guess I can call it and up here I do have it again you can maybe see it there I also have it in the inside I think you can see it more here so I have it there it's actually just a tad bit um, and then I have it all right here so I bought this from handbag heaven and the reason why I purchased them to begin with is because whenever I am trying to close the bag I find that I can do this motion right here and end up kind of scratching it um, although it is very hard for you to just scratch it on the first time that you do that um, I did want to preserve it a little bit longer so I found these. I'll link them down below. I think they actually changed their name to Hard Deluxe just recently. So if you're interested in finding hardware protectors for your Pichette Matisse, I'll link them down in the description bar so be sure to check that out. This is a big piece of hardware and I can see how you might be put off by it because of the scratches. However, you can remove them. You can buff out the scratches and they'll come off easily so don't be so put away from that or any other handbag that has a large um, hardware like this okay so I'm gonna stop talking about the hardware and take you inside so this is what the bag looks like and right here you'll see this um, I guess indentations from the top handle it does not bother me whatsoever but if you are going to get this in the enfant leather just know you will see that right there um, and then whenever I look at it, you know, obviously you can kind of see it, but it's nothing that bothers me at all. So coming inside, you are greeted with a lovely red um, trucks textile lining. And the inside, it has three dividers, the very back one being the slimmest. This is the biggest compartment and the one that I use to carry the most. And then here I just uh, always put things that I want easy access to. So whenever I pack the bag, I'll show you what that is. 
But um, very quick, right here, it does have the Louis Vuitton uh, stamp. This is on the leather piece of the navy, and it does have a little bit of uh, red glazing through the corners or the edges. And then right here, um, you will see a little tab. Mine is actually made in the U.S., so um, it does say uh, made of foreign components or something like that. Um, let me see if I can get in here and see what it says real quick. So it says made in the U.S. of imported materials. And then it has an LV stamp on there. And the back of that is just a raw uh, finish of the leather, nothing too fancy. But that is what's on here as far as emblem or um, tagging goes for Louis Vuitton. There's none in the back. Um, taking you out through the outside, Right here, you do have a Louis Vuitton um, stamp right there. It's very subtle, but you can definitely see it. It's like if I'm looking at it, you can definitely tell that it's there. Um, coming to the back, so you do have a zipper. This I actually use a lot. Um, and inside, right on this edge, I don't think I'm going to be able to show you, but this is where the um, date code is housed, right in there. And I think it's super hard to get into but that's where that's at my handbag is actually a 2018 handbag um, so let me talk a little bit about the glazing a lot of people are put off by the Bichette Matisse because of the glazing they say there's a lot of issues you can um, start cracking it whenever you open and close it do this action I have not had that happen I don't think um, I see it a little bit right there, but again, it's not like this is a brand, brand new handbag, and I did use it for about seven to eight months straight without switching out of a handbag. I think it wears very well, and I know that you can um, get it reglazed if that is an issue or if it starts chipping or something that you just don't like seeing on your handbag. I also know you can re-dye the leather, so if for whatever reason it's fading in a different area or something's going on, you can dye it. Um, Louis Vuitton does offer that service. Um, but that's all that I would say about the glazing. Not so many problems or anything that I would be put off by. Um, so still very beautiful type of red color. Uh, no problems there. The zipper pull is just fine. Um, nothing's going on there. Um, the hardware here in the back, I did want to point out, it does kind of get a little bit black from all the little rubbing, but like I mentioned, that is something you can clear away. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, and this is a very smooth zipper. Obviously, I don't have anything inside the handbag, so it is a little bit hard. Um, but it's very smooth to go in and out. I actually keep my phone in here as opposed to putting it inside whenever I do use it. Um, the strap. There's nothing wrong with my strap. The glazing is just fine. I hope you'll be able to see how it's not cracking or anything. And this is over the top where you would kind of have like in a, where it molds to your shoulder. So I think if it does crack, I think I would expect it to crack along the top here. But so far, it's just fine. Um, the leather is, is very forgiving. It's not stiff at all. It's very comfortable to wear. And there is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes for adjustments. Uh, so that's neat. And this, it hasn't curled out. So I tend to always use the second little hoop here to maintain that or keep that from uh, moving out. And then whenever I do store it, I do undo the strap. So I'll show you that later on. Um, right here, I don't have too much rubbing on the hardware. I have a little bit on here if you're able to see that um, I'll answer some pictures if not if it's a little bit difficult to see um, right here I do see a little bit of where my little glazing well, it's not even glazing I think they dye the edges of the leather um, there's a little bit of blue coming through which I definitely don't mind um, let's talk about where so i'm going to talk about the edges because that is where wear tends to show the most on a lot of handbags for me my handbag is just fine in most areas there's not 
any structure loss or anything like that except right here that's the only edge that you'll see that in as this one is just fine so that um, can happen obviously um, the leather is very the leather is very soft and supple so that can happen um, I did want to point this out right here. So I got mine pre-owned. Um, I got it from Fashion File and the rating on it was actually excellent. So looking through the pictures after I purchased it, after I noticed this, I can um, see that they didn't mention any of that. And I try to focus on some of the pictures on this particular area and I do see that this was before me um, but while it has been in under my care for about a year I did say this is a 2018 so I got it whenever I was one year old and I've had it for a year now um, I don't find that it has been peeling more or that it's become worse or anything like that but if you do have a leather bag whether it's Louis Vuitton or any other leather just be mindful that you can scuff it like that um, mine it doesn't really bother me I don't have any here or in the other side or even on the interior that is just perfect um, and whenever you're looking at the purse you need to be inspecting my handbag with a microscope or some kind of magnifying glass to even tell because it's dyed navy um, and the little I guess scratches or scuffs or I don't even know what you would call it um, is sticking up a little bit the bottom of it is navy so it kind of um, seals very well if you will but that's the only thing that is on my handbag um, I did save about five to six hundred dollars whenever I bought it so after I discovered this I was kind of a little bit like bummed about it because even though I did save a lot of money on it it's too expensive as a pre-owned item and of course I was a little bit sad by it and I just decided to baby it a little bit more however I just kind of got over it afterwards and I find that this is a good handbag I would definitely recommend it to someone the pochette motif is actually much more coveted in the canvas or the monogram version as opposed to the leather version they do make the leather on um, the emprunt version in various different tones um, but this one actually stuck out to me the most I actually bought an SLG before I got this and at the time that I ended up opting to purchase this I was actually in the market for a black handbag but I like the contrast so much and how it pops and at the same time from the front end it's very subtle but it just looks in my opinion it looks more expensive than a regular pochette matisse in the leather version and the black one is very stunning the black is very rich and the hardware because it's so yellow tone and in your face right in the center on the black version it looks stunning it pops a lot however this one took the cake for me um, they didn't have it in store whenever I got my SLG but they did have the black and that's how I know about the black and I saw it around and kind of was able to see if this was something that I wanted but luckily not too much after I got my SLG I found it some fashion file and that's how I ended up getting it um let's talk about this little tab right here because you don't really use it or move it too much at least i don't um it's in perfect condition the little edges on there are just fine nothing is wrong with it this handbag i tend to carry it like this and it's not damaging the edges right here by any means um i think it might be I think it might be wearing off a little here if you can see but I don't personally mind it and it's so small and in the corner that whenever I do this you can't really tell now whenever I do this I did want to show you um, it kind of looks like there is creases on the leather like little bumps but that's actually the stitching the stitching from the handle so it's not like it's bubbling or anything like that it's still in perfect condition and this is actually very substantial it's not cheap at all and it doesn't feel like it's going to snap um, so what else can I say about the leather and how this wears 
Okay, so I actually miss talking about this area right here. Um, you can't really see it head on. It blends in perfectly. But I'm actually in my closet and I have very bright lights in here. So whenever I start tilting it, you can see it. So this is like rubbing um, or scuffing of the leather itself. And I think the main reason for this is because whenever I wear this crossbody, this portion of the bag is in the back of my body. So if I'm wearing like a jacket with hardware or even some denim they'll have some rivets or some kind of hardware in the backing or the back pocket area that can be rubbing from here or also like friction of between walking or switching the back forward and backwards to access the uh, front of the area so i did want to come in here and mention that because it can definitely happen and it does look kind of like gum or sticky tag but it's definitely scuffing of the leather itself and um what i meant by the leather being so dark and rich is that looking at it head on you can easily miss it because it blends in so well um just whenever you're like really paying attention to it in certain lighting like this um, my hardware this buttons right here they don't have any protectors and i the color is just fine on there. It's not beading whatsoever. So that is something I think I saw a few YouTubers talk about. There's peaking a little bit of silver or wearing off. Mine is perfectly fine. And this is something that I use all the time because this is how you get into the bag. So I guess you just got to be careful with it. Or I try to just squeeze it from the sides as opposed to touching the buttons to open it. So maybe that's how you can avoid that. I'm going to show you how I pack it, but if you're thinking about this purse, I'm going to just give you a little bit of background on the kind of handbags that I like. I like to carry a bottle of water and a, and a number of just in case it rains when I'm out and about. Obviously, I can't put a water bottle in here because it's not too, you know, it's not too wide to keep something that's cylinder. Um, but you can keep a umbrella if it is something that is skinnier, like the pole is skinnier and obviously compact umbrellas, you can find so many of those. So if you do have one, you can. Mine actually is a little bit longer than my purse, so I'm not going to be showing you that. Um, but because of the size, don't be put off by it. You'd be surprised how much you can actually fit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that portion and then I'm going to be giving you some modeling shots as well. Okay, so this is my purse. It's all empty, obviously, right? Okay, so I'm going to first start off by putting what I want to grab or have easy access to right here in the front compartment. And for me, that happens to be my wallet. This is the SLG that I was talking about that made me fall in love with the combination. And then I have my keys, so I put that in there. In the center compartment, this is where I housed most of my things. And I have this red case by Vera Bradley. So this is what I used to put in here. Because it's made of a cloth material, I can squeeze the edges. And it's not too structured to where it changes the shape of the center compartment, if that makes sense. So I'm going to quickly show you what I carry in here, which is a lot of stuff. Um, I have a hand sanitizer. I have some lipsticks, some lip liner, brows, a pen, a razor, <laughs> a lot of stuff in here, mostly slim items. I do have a mirror here. I have a hand cream. I love L'Occitane hand creams. I have some whisk um, toothpicks. I do wear Invisalign, so I do have that. And then I have a case for my Invisalign whenever I go out for dinner or something to pop those out and put them in there. I have a small powder. I have this rollerball by Gucci, is gorgeous gardenia, fantastic. I have a tampon in here. I have a mini lipstick. I have a lot of things, needless to say. So if you carry a lot of items, they can fit in here no problem. You can actually keep them inside of the center compartment without putting it in a pouch. But because I do carry liquids and cosmetics and I don't want it to stay in the lining or 
start fading in there and then like the hand sanitizer it does have alcohol obviously so i don't want it to maybe stain the textile lining or start making a hole or i don't even know <laughs> i just want to be very careful so i do put it inside this um, compartment here i did get this in red just because it's red and i didn't want to deal with any color transfer but i also have it in black and i've used it in here and i don't see any transfer of any kind so i think as long as it's a cloth material you're okay if you did have something that is of a print style um like maybe a leather version i don't know if any of the prints will start rubbing on here but i've had a great luck with this one again this is from bear bradley so i will link it down below if i can find it they do have it in other array of colors just in case you do have this handbag but your interior is different um so i'll link those down below and then right here in the back um you can either put your phone i have an iphone this is an xs and it fits without a problem obviously um you can actually put some other things in here but because i access my phone quite frequently i actually put it in the back zipper compartment so i'm gonna put it in here and sometimes i keep this unzipped I don't find that it's an issue because I wear it uh, very close to my body, either as a shoulder or crossbody. You can't really access this back end because it's the closest end to your body. So I don't find it concerning if this is open majority of the time. Um, but that is what I keep in there. So let's just close it. And just very quick, just because I think you might be curious, you can see the shape of the cell phone just a tad bit. Like you can see the corner right here and it's kind of fading, but the corner is like right in here and then again in here. So you can not see it, but whenever you go to store the bag, you can put it like this to where it kind of pushes this little bulge back inside. Obviously, you can see that something is in there just a tad bit, but it's not too bad. Okay, so coming over to fill this back pocket, I actually carry a lot of receipts with me or I just keep them whenever I go shopping. So I stick them back in here. And um, and because we do have to wear a face mask, I have mine in a Ziploc baggie. So I'm going to squeeze this in here and then kind of it up a little so it's not wrinkled but there you have it i have a few receipts coupons more coupons millers um you can put a whole bunch of things in here i have put an actual 8 by 10 paper folded in half and it fits just fine um but that is that and sometimes i will pop my sunnies right at the top there or right here and obviously you can maneuver this space like if i wanted to stand this up to put my sunnies in here i can definitely do that um but i tend to keep it up here so i'm gonna do this and then i am able to close the handbag without a problem there you go so that is what the purse looks like whenever it's filled obviously because there is items here and there it does have to expand here a tad bit so that is that that's the other side of the purse and then the back and now that it's even more filled um you can't really tell or you know the little bulge there so that is how i pack it okay so i'm gonna just go ahead and snap the straps back on And then I actually have my scale here, so I'm going to pick it up and show you the weight whenever there's items in there. So it is about three pounds filled. So I did mention I carry a top handle sometimes, so that is what that looks like. I don't really do this. I just do it on the top handle, like a little briefcase. And I most of the time wear it like this. I'm going to dust it out just a little bit, obviously, for the sides. So there is what that looks like. I also like to wear it crossbody. Um, you can wear it to the front. I just push it onto the back. So if I am wearing it crossbody, 
this. And this is what I was talking about, having your phone in the back pocket. Um, obviously, you can't do this without looking. You know, grab your phone real fast and stick it back inside without a problem. Um, whereas, if you had it inside, I think you would do this action more to kind of get inside the back, find your phone, and move on. On that same note, whenever I am going to pay or need something, I will bring it over to the front so I can see what I have and grab my wallet and pay or um, grab whatever it is that I'm looking at. But most of the time, I either have it next to me like this to where if I do this, you know, I can see everything, access everything without a problem. So that is what that looks like. Again, if you do wear And whenever it's at the front, this part of the bag does lay very closely to you. Obviously, this little edge does not. Um, but whenever you have it on the side, just the center, and the edges don't mold, obviously. And then to the back. Once I have it in the back, it all is laying against my body. So not a problem there. And again, top handle. Whenever I carry a top handle, I just leave the straps hanging. I have it to this length to where the straps are not on the floor. And I'm 5'3", even if I do have it full, my arm fully extended, the strap is not hitting the ground. Um, it's maybe like 7 inches from the ground, so it's completely fine. Um, like I did say, I am 5'3". I have mine on the center hole, so it does have 7 and I have it on the fourth. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I put my handbag away. So I'm just going to take out all of the contents that I have in there currently. So the purse is all empty now. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the strap and I just unhook it and then I undo it. So I'm going to to where it's two pieces. So I have them here. And then what I do is, because this is longer, I'll just coil it. Now, so when I have it like this, so I'm going to put it to the side. And we're going to clean the rest of the handbag. So what I use for the exterior is the water wipes. Um, you can get these like at Target or Amazon, whatever. I just go through the leather and just give it a good wipe. I also go through the edges. I don't mind or have any fear of the glazing there. So I'm just going to wipe it, get it all nice and coated. I actually do have my phone in here, so I'm gonna take that out. Inside, I don't wipe it with a wipey. What I do is I grab a lint roller and lint roll the inside to try to get any um, dust or, I don't know about you guys, but I find that my handbags get glitter from I don't even know where. So I just have my lint roller here. I'm going to get a new sheet. And I'm going to lay this kind of like blotting paper against your face. So I'm just going to pat it everywhere. On the corners, I'm going to try to make sure that I get the edges very well like that. And then just do it all around. This might require more little sheets, um, but it is grabbing some dust there. In the same pattern.
Okay, so before I put um, the bag fully away, I do have this cleaner right here. This is a jewelry cleaner. Um, it's a polish and a little cloth. I'm actually just going to use the cloth and go over the hardware. So I'm going to take a clean side. And I'll link this down below just in case you are interested. This is by James Avery. So I'm going to polish that there. Obviously, I do have the sticker, but I'm still going to go over it is fine and then here I have this sticker but it does have two little rivets here so I'm just going to polish that the inside all right now my sipper I'm going to sip it and I'm going to take one corner and I'm just going to go over the sipper like this and then obviously you're going to go over the sipper clean that out So there's a little bit of black in there that I want to show you, but I'm going to insert a picture because I realize it's a little bit tough to show. So what I do with my cloth is go in there and try to clean it out. And it does come off. You can see a little smidge there. And then I pull the top edge so I can try to get in there as well. And obviously I can't get too inside um, on there, but I try to get as much as I can and then just kind of call it a day. Obviously this happens, so you can't get it back to new state. But that is that, it looks more polished. Um, I'm gonna insert a picture so you can show how it was cleaned. But I'm gonna move on to the little side hoops here. Just gonna clean them off. This has a sticker like I mentioned, but I'm still going to go around there. And then on the other side, the same thing. And then I'm going to bring on my strap. And I'm going to do the same to the hardware here. So excuse the mess behind of all the gadgets that I used while uh, cleaning my handbag. But now that I have it all done, what I'm going to do now is get some air paper and put my strap inside and then put it all away. So I have this that I use and I put it in the center compartments. But before I do that, I get my strap. I put my strap in there first. I undo it just a little bit to where I can put the air paper inside. So there is the strap and the air paper. And then the second strap, I just put it in, in the center there like that. Or I can, you know, put it in here as well. It'll work just fine. Okay, so I have it there. And that is pretty much all I do in the inside. I'm able to secure it just fine. I do have my dust bag here and obviously the handbag fits in here because this is what it came with. Um, I'm just gonna stick it in here just to kind of give you a visual. So you can do this. However, I just fold mine. If you can see the creases have been there for some time. I fold mine and I put it under the bag and I sit the bag on top of there. But before I go, to all of that this i you see how it's a little bit separated after use so what i do is i'll just take a clear um hair tie here a little mini scrunchie um, elastic right here and i will put it in there i will make sure that it's not tight i would just do about three passes this elastic is large uh, so it allows me three 
without being too, too harsh. And right here where the glazing hits, I'm going to make sure, you see how right here it's kind of creased? So I'm going to smooth that out and make sure that the crease is not on the glazing. I don't want it to make any marks on the glazing. So it's laying flat on the glazing. It is wrinkled on the leather piece, but it's like that on both sides, which I'm okay with. So now it's perfectly there. It's not separated, ready for storage. So I'm going to take it to my closet to show you where I put it. Okay, so this is a... Okay, so this is a shelf that uh, was built in with my closet. So I have this little area where I put my pochette matisse. So on, if you can see, the dust bag is a little bit too large for the spacing. So I will just fold it a little bit. Actually, I'll fold it evenly like this. And then I'll flip it around. Obviously, this is easier with two hands. Perfect. And then I just sit my pochette matisse on top there. And it's not touching right here. And it's not touching on the back end corner. So that is good. And then here it's spaced out enough to where it's not touching. Probably won't be able to see that because the shoe is black. But there it is. And that is how I um, ultimately store my pochette matisse. All right, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I've been talking so long and have talked enough about the Pochette Matisse. If you have any questions, please add down in the comment section and I'll get to you. If you are wondering about any products that I've mentioned, check the description bar so you know um, what they are and where you can get them if you're interested. So again, this was my review or an overview of the Pochette Matisse, also showing you inside and how I care and um, put it away. So thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.